Testing one, two, one, two. Okay, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today is a very, very special uh, episode because I'm going to be thanking you for something, but of course, we're also going to do some through the lens using the HP Reverb G2 and also the VR Dash Wave Dash Stores lens prescription adapters because they're freaking amazing. I got to talk about it, and I've never actually done a through the lens video with the adapters on the actual headset, and I haven't really seen other people do that too. But first, guys, I just need to show you something, okay? Because this means so much to me, to some of you, and a lot of you uh, who've been doing this. So let me just transition over. Now, if you go to the VR Essentials website, uh, let me just go to this video here. You'll notice that every time we post a new video, we have some descriptions. And inside of the descriptions, there's also a whole bunch of different uh, things going on here. Uh, you know, where basically you can click on it and go to, when you purchase something on Amazon, it will automatically uh, make it so that you're purchasing from an affiliate link that we've posted. Now, the reason why this means so much to me as to what you guys, some of you guys have done, is the fact that recently this PSU went bust. Okay, I mean, it was still working, but my computer, every time the GPU would be uh, I was using the GPU to do something like go into the metaverse or, you know, uh, render something on, on the computer or download something and it was using the GPU. The computer would just shut down, crash, restart. It wouldn't even want to restart. It was freaking horrible. I had to spend literally 16 hours, two days, two times eight hours. I probably spent more time than that, maybe 24 hours, man hours to figure out. And I thought, okay, maybe it's the PSU. Now, it's very expensive to get one of these. This cost me, uh, sorry, the PSU that I originally had is the Coolmaster 650 uh, watts gold. And I went and bought, I'll show you just a minute, uh, a brand new, what's it called? Uh, it's, uh, anyway, it, it, it costs like more than 160 US dollars to buy. Um, you know, and I use the credits that I get from Amazon, when you guys purchase something, I get a little kickback. I mean, the channel gets a little kickback and I accumulated this for maybe six months. And thanks to doing that, thanks to keeping the accumulation up there and thanks to all of you or some of you who have been going to um, to, to Amazon and purchase stuff and then, you know, using the affiliates back to, to us, um, I've been able to afford a brand new, PSU, and thank God it was a PSU because it, everything's fixed. I can go back into VR, do all the tests using the Pico Neo 3 Pro, uh, using the, now I can download the SDK for the IR170 of the Ultraleap, uh, doing the test both on the Pico Neo 3, but also of course on the actual HP Reverb G2, where it slots in here. So this is the 3D mount, you know, and all this kind of stuff. I mean, let me, let me just show you I'll show you at the end of the video the big mess and what it looks like because I've never had to put a PSU on my computer the very first time. So after the, uh, through the lens, I'll do a little preview, little private, you know, for you guys, those who enjoy to watch the videos until the end, show you how much of a big mess and what the computer looks like at the moment. All right, so first of all though, let's do this through the lens. I'm just gonna show you, by the way, uh, the app that we're gonna be going inside of is Half-Life Alex. Look at this. I'm so happy to be able to see Half-Life Alex again after about a week of no VR whatsoever using my HP Reverb G2 and everything inside is just so amazing. I mean, oh man, even though it's come out quite a long time ago now, it's just always a pleasure to go back inside. So let me transition to the other phone, the other camera. I'll be using my phone camera in order to, uh, to show you and do through the lens. So let me just do that right away. Okay, so this is without the actual pre lens prescription lenses uh, adapter. So this is basically as is inside of the game. Now it is very hard for me to find, you know, a way to make sure it's all clear, but I think here it is pretty, pretty clear as you can tell. And I'm using, an, you know, quite an old iPhone. It's the i7, uh, iPhone 7. So, you know, maybe the camera is not perfect, but you know, at the end of the day, the clarity inside, as you can tell, you know, this is one year later after the HP came out. It's still freaking amazing. I mean, it is an amazing piece of hardware. You can see over there the smoke. I mean, look at that. You can see the smoke over there, uh, the steam coming out of the bowl as he's cooking something. Um, you know, it is really amazing. 
And don't worry so much about the uh, bright uh, light because, of course, the contrast is from my camera, so it looks a bit more contrasty than it would actually be inside of the game. Now, let me just put this down. And let me just put the uh, lens back on, as you can tell. I just put it on and then just give it a little twist and then it's on. So it's very easy, doesn't take long, no fiddling around. And then we go back inside. Now it will look maybe slightly blurry for you because obviously it's for my eyesight. I'm, a, I'm astigmatic, so my eyesight is really bad. My eyeballs are shaped really weirdly, uh, like a bunch of <laughs> rugby balls, as you could say. But, you know, as you can tell, basically for me it's clear, but um, there's no, like, blurriness or additional things or whatever. And then when you're, when you're inside, um, you know, it will be super clear. As I mentioned, nothing going rounder or more round. There's no more or less reflections on the lens. You know, you can see some reflections here because I'm near one of the lights. But, I mean, look at this. It's really clear. You know, I'm not even touching the lens right now because if I go further it becomes more blurry of course so here um, you know it's super super clear as you can tell the details aren't lost everything is there the colors are still the same there's no change to the colors whatsoever everything is really good and guys if you do order using the uh, lens prescription uh, adapters at vrwave.store um, sorry vr-wave.store you can get 5% discount if you use VI Essentials um, promo code, just to let you know. And also on December 17, or around there, they're going to be doing a super huge Christmas promotion. So don't use the uh, promo code. Just go directly to the website and use whatever promotion they'll give you because you're going to get a better deal. And, you know, at the end of the day, this community is about you. It's not really about how much money we make. So actually, why don't you just wait until the promotion and you just get a better deal. I think that would be the way to do it. Um, and then also, of course, if you want to help the channel, then you can purchase our merch on our website or you can, you know, go to our affiliate links again and do what you be you guys have been doing because it's really amazing. In fact, let me let me show you the state of, of um, you know, the computer. So I just, I just put the computer on literally today. I just put the new PSU, which is there. And the new PSU is... Let me get the brand. I think it's underneath. Oh, it's the Rogue Strix 750. So it's a Rogue Strix 750 Gold. Uh, so I upgraded from the 650 to the 750. Uh, Bought down lamps. I mean, look at this. It's terrifying. All these cables everywhere. The cables down there. Yeah, I mean, we got stuff running in the PSA. I've got to put everything back. I've got to put all the cables. And oh my God, it's just such... A big, big mess. Um, you know, it's it's just a really, really huge mess. Let me just go back uh, in the other lens this time on the other side. So, oh, I think the did it go to sleep? I don't know. Maybe yeah. I think I think the headset the headset went to sleep. So uh, never mind. No, it's, yeah, I think that no, it's not asleep. Okay, it's just not bright. Okay, let me stand up. There we go. Maybe it'd be better if I stand up. So you can see, as, as I mentioned before, uh, it's just really clear, no issues whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't create any additional scratches or it's very, it's anti-scratch material as well. So, you know, it's completely, it's all good. Okay, my camera is focusing a bit all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's all good, really all good. And by the way, guys, just a reminder that we are doing an awesome giveaway sponsored by HP, so they will be the one to send one of you lucky guys a brand new HP Reverb G2, and also Cyber Shoes are sponsoring a brand new pair of Cyber Shoes, so they will be the one sending it to you. I'll personally be sponsoring a $50 voucher to the MetaQuest or Oculus Quest uh, store or, or Viveport or Steam store, up to you, completely up to you, you choose. And then a fourth winner will get a whole bunch of different keys from various different games that I'm trying to finalize at the moment. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe. And by the way, before I get you, uh, before we leave today, sorry, um, you know, just a little announcement that Vertical Games are going to be releasing the, you know, after the full game very soon. We have been sent the key, guys. Thank you so much for, you know, saving the channel because tonight I'm going to give it a try. The embargo is happening in a few days. So do make sure you enable the bell after you subscribe and go and check out Skiva's channel, uh, Skiva's 
uh, testing. He was one of the hosts of Between Realities. If you don't know what Between Realities is, you go. You have to go and check out their channel. It's really awesome. He gives a little bit more details as to the experience that he had in terms of the maps and all that kind of stuff. And you know, I don't know why we love to shoot zombies. We just do. It's just one of the things we like to do in VR. But you know, this brings multiplayer together, crossplay since it's going to be available on the Meta Quest 2. Also the um, uh, PlayStation, PC VR as well. So I'm so psyched, so excited uh, to be able to try this game. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. And don't miss, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, unable the bell after you subscribe so you don't miss the video as I will be posting our own personal review here from VR Essentials, uh, which will talk about more of the practical side of it, um, of course, because this is all about the practical uses of virtual reality. All right, guys, thanks again so much for saving the channel. Sorry, I just got a huge smile because you're just so friggin' awesome. Love you guys. I'll see you in the comments below and in another video very shortly with Business Meta Quest tomorrow. All right, guys. Take it easy. Bye.